Good readings, Weight Watchers and friends. It's Love It Fit to Love Me, and I'm coming to you with my second installment of Transformation Thursday. So, last week we talked about the emotional kinds of issues that I think probably are at the heart of why I have been overweight basically all my life. This week, I'm going to flip the script <laughs> and talk about something completely different. At that time, we were talking about the emotional aspects of my weight, um, my weight issues. This time, we're going to be talking about material things that I would like to see changed in my in my life. And the material thing we're going to be talking about today is my living environment. So, Fit to Love Me, ch the channel is about my seeing myself evolve and transform into the person that I want to be, into living the life of my dreams, the life that I want to lead. So one major aspect of the li living the life of my dreams is loving my living environment. And I'm not loving it right now. So I talked to you a little bit about that in a previous clip that I'm going to connect to this video. I just wanted to just introduce it and just let you know why I'm talking to you about that. About that, um, and one major reason is because I'm doing an apartment. Oh, one major reason is that I'm doing an apartment hunt, and another major reason now that I'm just thinking of it, it wasn't planned, but my daughter signed us up for this um, <laughs> living room re remodel this re living room renovation so uh contest so uh i will link the the um i don't know the link below and if you want to vote if you will vote for us that would be awesome i don't know i haven't gone to the link myself but she just because she just told me about it this morning how funny is that so anyway yeah um but i've been i videotaped that previously uh the the house tour so that you can see why it is that I'm looking to for a new place to live and why I'm looking for all new furniture. I'm pretty sure I tell you the whole story in that video. If for some reason I did not tell you the story, I know I told you why I got new furniture, but in terms of the building, um, it's very dark. We're like boxing on all sides and they keep it really dirty, <laughs> uh, pretty dirty, too dirty for me. I, I mean, I know that there are complete places way more, more, way dirtier than this, but I just don't like it, and I think that our street is kind of dirty. So I'm not gonna show you the outside, I'm not gonna show you the street until I move, maybe I'll show you then, but um, I will show you the inside of the buildings and, and like what I'm talking about and why I don't really like it. So um, yeah, because I wanna transform that area of my life, and I'm not only this, place that I'm looking to experience a transformation in, although we're renting here um, because you can't own property in Kuwait. We own a, a lovely home in Atlanta, but it's not decorated. So when I go back home, we'll be working on that too. I know, like I said, this is the material aspect. It seems kind of materialistic, but I do believe that um, beauty, right? Nature is beautiful. I believe that beauty is a, almost like a, a, um, not a principle, but an aspect of um, of universal law. I feel like balance and beauty and oneness, all these kinds of things are are are, are spiritual. I don't know. The only word I can think of right now is is principles. I know that's not the right at, attributes, spiritual attributes, I should say. And I feel like. As within, so without. As I recognize my beauty, then I will be. I will. Be see, I will see that projected on the outside of my life. I also think that the more I focus, I, you know, I believe in this law of attraction, the more I focus and see beautiful things, the more I'm going to experience that in my life, world, and affairs. So I am starting working <laughs> to work on a vision board when it comes to the my um, living environment because I think that your living environment really is a reflection of yourself. It's it's your home. It's your, it's your outer vessel. It's like your shell. And... Um, yeah, I think the same way that we have to, 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 to practice self-care, we have to practice that kind of care in our living environment. I'm going to be looking for apartments. We're going to be getting rid of all of our furniture and um, starting brand new. And so the reason for that is when we first got here, we um, in 2000, June 2013 is when my daughter and I got here along with um, my husband's sons 
we thought that we were only going to be here for like maybe six months or so that, you know, at the end of my husband's contract, we were all going to move back to the States, but it didn't work out that way. And so, so we had bought temporary furniture. We bought all temporary, everything just temporary, like, okay, quick, cheap, you know, you know, don't want to spend much money, just like get it. Cause we're not going to be here long. We have to get rid of it. Yeah. So two and a half years later, we still have that quick, cheap, used, not cute furniture. Some that people just gave us, like hodgepodge of everything, and we still have it, <laughs> you know? And then, yeah. So anyway, I'll take you on a tour of the apartment and um, and probably the building and everything. I'll just do a separate video, maybe an apartment tour, to show you why we want to move. So, um, I told you the story about why I'm getting rid of all, all this furniture, and I just told you why I want to change uh, my apartment. But I also want to say that in a future video, you'll see probably the, the because this is totally the before, the, the before video, I will be shopping for for furniture and shopping for like a new, a new apartment, apartment to put that furniture in, of course. And, um... This is why. I want you to see why. So this is the before and I want you to support me and work with me to get the after done. I'm not like the most, you know, I'm not like the best decorator in the world. I, it has been fine for me to just live in this place the way it is now. Like not fine, but meaning like it hasn't been like completely unbearable. Like a person who's like, you know, very good with decor and stuff like that. So I could use help. So I guess as we go along, maybe, you know, I'll show you what kinds of things I'm looking at and see if, you know, you can help me some kind of way. I would definitely appreciate that. I know I have some people who are really great with decor and things like that. I'm thinking of Nina for sure. I think I, I've seen Melody's Place and, and stuff like that. I can't think of anybody else's place I've um, seen. But, um, but yeah, so I could definitely support in that. And then also, yeah, I could definitely support in that. So, what else do I want to say? I think that's it. So, I'm going to take you out into the hallway and show you um, what we're working with. So, come on along. So, it's not only this place that I am looking to transform or to have a transformation demonstration in or I, to have a, to experience a transformation in. This is not, it's so, okay, so, that's my apartment. And you can just see like the walls are dirty. It seems pretty bright in here right now because the sun is out, but usually it's pretty dark. The, ele the elevator used to be really dirty, but I think this is how I look. Oh, I look like that right here. Okay, this is how I look. The elevator used to be pretty dirty, but we complained about it enough times that they that they finally decided to keep keep it clean. They clean it every now and then, which is better than nothing, but it's not great. All right, so I don't know if you can see like how it's just like the, the walls are completely dingy. I don't know if you can really get a good view of this, but it's just pretty like dank. I feel like I'm, I don't know, in the dungeon or something. Just gross. Just filthy. Dirt all in the walls and everything. I guess they use, I don't even know. Uh, I can't even say. Just filthy. Uh-oh. They have all this crap down here. Just not cute. I'm embarrassed for people to come over. Don't want to turn off the, the light when I have to go. Don't like to touch the door. I touch it, I open it with my, with my shirt. This is relatively clean right now with all this bird crap. Oh my gosh, there's an actual bird egg right there. How funny is that? This is what usually you're walking on over bird crap which we are doing right now, but I'm just saying like a whole bunch more. Ay, ay, ay. And then, look out here. They don't do a much better job of keeping things clean. So, yep, just not, just not happy with that. All right, so I'll send you back inside now. 
I'm headed out to the mall. Good evening, my watchers and friends. It's Love With Fit To Love Me, and I told you that I was coming to you with a house tour. Okay. It's not pretty, but it's but it's uh, but it's real. All right, so this is my front door of my apartment. It's not my house, right? It's an apartment tour. Why am I calling it a house? This is the front door of the apartment that I live in. Okay, and this is a living room. This is the hallway. That's a um, third bedroom, which we use as a storage room, and also we have a desk in there. This is the kitchen. This is the front door, okay? So, to the right of the front door. So we'll go, I guess we'll go around the house and the, the, apartment, the apartment in a circle. So the right of the front door is the living room, okay? So, what I have said is that all of the furniture in here was stuff that we just got temporarily. I experimented by trying to do something different that I would never have done before by getting this rug. And I understand that some people think the rug looks nice, but I don't like it. All right, so I don't have any blinds on this window. I don't need them because there is a building right across from there and there's no, no one's window is there. So no blinds in here because I think pretty soon after we got here, we knew this was gonna be temporary. All right, so this is it. So that's the front. That's the entryway, and here's the living room from, my computer's normally not there, I just put it up just there just now because I was looking, I don't want to look up something really quickly. And this is where I exercise, do my exercise. So the tables, these little end tables are just moved to the side. The, that table is where I use to do my computer work sometimes, it really doesn't belong in here, it belongs in the um, storage room, but uh, I wasn't put back and that's that the only thing I really like about this space is the um, bookshelves that's because I'm addicted to bookshelves <laughs> okay so here we are again back at the front door this is what the this is, you want to see what the fuse box looks like you create oh I brought a fuse box okay so here we have this. All this stuff came free with uh, this, this um, I think all we bought were the, I think from this person we purchased that buffet over there and we purchased the dining room table. All the rest of this wood furniture came free um, from those people. So, <laughs> cause they were moving and they were just like, y'all could have it. And that was that. All right, so here is the, master suite this is how we're keeping our luggage thing so that's not cute at all i'm just saying this is what it is this is what it is and the light switches here are on the outside of the though know, there's um there's actually tape all around this um place from oh this is like that when we moved in and like i said I guess because we're not planning to stay here, we just never fixed it. This is the bathroom, the master bathroom. We use um, water along here. We use regular water to brush our teeth, say hi to love, and this is the sink. So the place is not cutie woody at all. Okay, so see, these are from my old apartment where they fit, and now the window's up higher and they don't fit. And we haven't fixed them because why buy new blinds for this place that we're not planning to stay in, okay? This doesn't belong in here, it belongs in the storage room because we don't use it and we never have these. This is like, oh, when I first got here, um, my husband was using it in his first little apartment, but we haven't used it for three, two and a half years, so to go this goes in my daughter's room and I was just borrowing it to use to put my tripod on it 
Okay, so there's the front door. Okay, now we're in this storage room. This is our third, the third bedroom. This is the third bedroom, and this is what we use for storage. So all of this stuff is just co our comforters and pillows that we really need to get rid of. But there's like no Goodwill kind of place that we know of here. So it's like, oh, what do we do? Um, those lamps I just bought, which I love. Um, and this is my stockpile. It's still not organized probably efficiently. Not probably. It's not organized efficiently because look at all this vertical space. That's just wasted and just wasted so there's that once again the people can't see us those are just old um curtains from the other apartment that we had in whatever random rooms furniture that doesn't fit in here um i said we did buy the um the the dining room table even though it had this broken stuff because it was a super great price we had a large family and it had a, um, it had that, uh, it has that leaf in the middle and we were able to have good, lots of good gatherings and whatever. So we were, and we thought we were only going to be there for six months. So we were like, fine, we'll take it. It was in the same actual, actually in the same exact apartment that we were moving into. So we just said, okay, just leave it. We'll take it. And they ended up giving us all the rest of the stuff. This is Allie McFally's room. And this is the cutest room in the house. She has a cute dresser and a cute guy. <laughs> and a cute face. And she's setting up stuff to do some fun, fabulous, fantastic stuff in there. And there's some love. All right, so this is, that's that room. And this is what you see when you walk out of a room. We don't know why they put that on the floor there, but they have. That's the front door. That's Hallie's. This is the storage room. That's Hallie's room. This is Hallie's bathroom. So that's the way they have the um, fans in the bathroom and the kitchen. The exhaust fan that goes to the outside. And this is the bathroom. Oh, see they have these um, these spray things, spray nozzles. I guess that's supposed to be like for like their their version of a bidet. Back to the front door. We need to change our shoes here. And this is where we keep our shoes. Home sweet home. Two, only two apartments on this floor. Apartment one and apartment two. Uh, and there's apartments upstairs. And like one apartment upstairs, and then there's the um, owners who live downstairs on the first, first and second floors. Actually, they call it the floor zero and floor one. We're on the third floor, what would be the third floor in the US, but it's what we call the second floor here. And this is the kitchen. <sighs> so, this is the kitchen, and we don't have matching appliances. But when we needed to upgrade, I said, let's go ahead and upgrade to stainless steel. And hopefully we'll live someplace where the washer and dryer won't have to be in the same room as the kit, as the, as that. And when this dies, we're going to upgrade this or before it dies. That's not stainless steel, actually. But it's stainless, that gray color, basically. And this is the kitchen. So basically, every aspect of our lives needs to be upgraded and fancified every aspect of where of our living space needs to be decorated upgraded fancified and beautified so that's that um 
and I hope that I'll say bring and you'll <laughs> see the new our new apartment <clears throat> with all new furniture and everything bring thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in part two of this video when my place is redone and I'm much skinnier ciao so that was it Thank you so much for watching and I thank you in advance for supporting me and reaching my goals and um, having my vision, my dream real. I don't have a vision yet for what I want the place to look like, but my, my dream realized for what it is that I want to do. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, any ideas for me, please leave a comment below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join me. I'm love. The channel's fit to love me. Everything I do can be found in the, in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao.